Oh, welcome back. Mooger Farn Show. We have Congressman Clay Higgins on with us today. We appreciate uh, Congressman Higgins giving us, a, giving us a few minutes this morning in his busy schedule. And I don't have but about four or five minutes left, uh, Congressman. Uh, listen, when y'all, when you, I know you're a congressman for our district here, but you go to Washington, D.C., and what do you feel like, and I'm going to ask you a political question, when it comes to Republicans winning the House and Senate and uh, President Trump winning? I mean, I know it's a must. We must have for this country to, to get away from what we're going through. But what, what is your feelings? Or, or do you really worry about that because you can only take care of your situation? Well, I'm very concerned about the future of our republic. I, I, and there's a sense of urgency that, that you know, borders on and in, in D.C. amongst uh, amongst. I would say patriot circles that you have a lot of men and women that are recognizing the signs of potential demise of our republic. And we see uh, elections being rigged. We see uh, borders disintegrated. We see the fact that when you add, you know, 14 million illegals, in in Biden's uh, four years as as occupier of the White House, and on top of the, the illegals we already had here from the previous 30 years, talking about 45 million illegals in our country. When you look at inflation, where Americans cannot afford groceries, when you look at supply chains totally disrupted across the world, when you look at the, the loss of not just American energy dominance, but the, the, like the purposeful crippling of the American energy yep. industry, when, when you look at the loss of the, of the American dollar as the, as the, um, as the instrument for the, the trade worldwide, and you have the emergence of uh, BRICS nations and the potential for a change in worldwide currency use, it, we're seeing a loss of our country, and, and there's very much a sense of urgency that, that we have reached a, a crucial point in this election cycle where we either save our country or, or, we'll, or we lose it. Here's a big question and, for and you. That's the feeling there. Yeah, here's a big question, Congressman. You may not can answer this, but I'm going to ask it. How do we get all these people out that don't belong? Because once you let them in here, uh, we it have gets a, very we have difficult. We have a beautiful plan. We have a beautiful plan. I've been talking with uh, with with the president and his team for for a couple of years about it. When I say president, I mean President Trump. Um, and it's basically we have a plan to create an environment where the where the illegal populations in the United States find it in their best interest to deport themselves. Yeah. Well, they, I'll, it's got to be a plan. I'll flesh it out as we get closer. Sure, but sure. it's a it's a brilliant plan, and I do believe it will work, and you're going to see a steady stream of unregistered vehicles driven by unlicensed drivers headed south. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. No, listen <laughs> to me. I don't, I don't have to know the plan. I just want to know somebody's thinking of the plan. Because once you let people yeah, in, we, you can't we, only we, get we them are. out. It, they, they don't want to go back to the hellhole they lived in. That's why I'm, that's why I'm throwing it at. Well, they're going to want to leave America. <laughs> if, I, if we enact our plan, they're they going to, it's going to be in their best interest to leave America on their own. And we're going to make it easy. Sun Tzu said in the art of war, build a golden bridge for your enemy to retreat. Mm -hmm. And and that's essentially what our plan is going to do. We're going to make it very easy for them to deport themselves. That'd be great. All right, well, I'm not going to worry about the detail. I'm going to take your word for it. And the, the problem is we got to get there first, and, and we got a ways to go. Yes, uh, Congressman Clay Higgins, always a pleasure. Thank you here. Moon, God bless you, sir. Have a wonderful week. Look forward to talking to you again. Yeah, we do it again soon. All right.